Hi, I'm Pete with ATVIllustrated.com. If you've got a Polaris Sportsman prior to 2004, chances are you've had an ignition failure, or more likely a stator failure. And the repair for those borders on uh, about $700 worth of parts to update it to a 2004 or newer ignition. Fortunately for you, uh, RM Stators come up with this ignition replacement kit that will get your Polaris Sportsman back on the road for much less money and leave a lot more money in your pocket to go riding. Uh, pay attention and we'll show you just how to do it. Our RM Stator ignition upgrade is complete plug and play system that will replace your stock ignition. Comes with an external coil, a new CDI, and all the wiring necessary to plug into your system. And the only connection you'll actually have to make is plugging in your 12 volt positive wire. To get things started, you'll have to remove your stock ignition system, which will mean removing the OEM Polaris CDI and coil assembly with a couple of torque screws and unplugging the wires. You'll also need to pull your OEM spark plug wires off from the cylinder heads and pull them through, which is actually the hardest part of the job. You'll have to reuse your stock spark plug wires, but that's no problem. Just pull back the boot, unthread them from your OEM Polaris ignition module, and now just thread your existing spark plug wires into the new RM Stator remote coil. You want to mount your new remote coil right in the existing location where the old Polaris coil and CDI unit was using self-tapping screws and the supplied standoffs. Be really careful not to drill into your gas tank, which is directly behind that area, but fasten it down just like that. Route your OEM spark plug wires right back down through the valley that they came out of. And that's probably about the hardest part of the job because there's a lot of brackets in your way. Using some self-drilling screws, go ahead and mount your new CDI unit to the cross member behind the radiator. Using your Torx bit, hook up the RM stator ground to the rest of the Polaris grounds on the frame below the headlight. On the left hand side under your plastic are these three wires that come together, red with a white tracer, and that's your keyed ignition power. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clip that insulated connector off there, and we're gonna use a new connector to connect those three wires from the Polaris power source to our RM stator power source, which is nicely labeled there so you know to hook it to the red and the white wire. Yeah. Take your two wire lead from your Polaris connector, connect that with your trigger connector from your RM stator assembly.
45 minutes of your time and about a third of what it costs to update your factory ignition, you're back on the trail and ready to ride.